hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to send an email to a gmail account in ASP.NET Core with Razor pages and here we got the final output of the project notice the header tag send email in ASP.NET Core with Razor pages below that we have the two email IDs subject body after that we got the button control to send an email now here are the two address I am adding the two address and from address both are same and rupee at gmail.com is my email id I want to send emails to this email id then here the subject hello and the body ASP.NET Core 3.0 tutorials how to send email with treasure pages this is a message I want to send to this email ID now before send this mail to this address let's open my gmail account open new tab open gmail let's sign in I'm adding my email ID which is my from and to address both are same click next and the password and I just logged into my email id rnrupee.in at gmail.com let's send the mail send mail see here we got a message the mail has been sent to rnrupee.in at gmail.com let's check here inbox notice here we got a mail here the me it's showing because the from and to both address are same let's open the mail hello is a subject is a hello and this is the body that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial I am creating a new ASP.NET Core web application go to file new project and I am selecting the project ASP.NET Core web application click next let's give the project name send mail rp which is the razor pages is my project name and I want to save this project in the d drive in the project folder then click create and after that I am selecting the web application template and the asp.net core version 3.0 I am using click create and the project is created successfully let's close this default window open solution explorer first in this project I am adding a new folder called models right click the project name add new folder and the folder name is models now in this models folder I am adding the class right click the models folder add I'm selecting class and the class name is email and here we got our email class now in this email class I'm just defining the public properties prop double tab and the property type is the string and the property name is 2 which is a 2 address and the next property prop double tab and second one also the string type and the property name is subject prop double tab string 
and the last property name is a body after adding the properties in this email next open solution explorer in this project notice there is a pages folder which contains some default files and notice here the index.cshtml which is a razor page and this is a default home page of the project let's open this index.cshtml and here we got our index.cshtml with some html code let's delete this default tab from this razor page now next right click the mouse go to page model and in the page model if you notice there is a default code which contains some read only private read only one constructor of the class and one public void on get method so when we want to implement the email functionality the first thing we require to import the namespaces let's add the packages here using system dot net dot mail namespace after adding this package now I don't require this default code I'm commenting that part and below that and below on get method I want to bind this email properties so let's add the bind property then let's add the class name prop double tab public the class name is the email so this email I want to add here so we need to input the namespace here using send mail dot models folder and the property name I am adding the send mail after that I'm adding a new on post method public async task on post method now in this on post method I'm adding um, string type let's call the properties here first one is a two is equals to send mail dot notice here we got here properties first one is a two and second string subject is equals to send mail dot subject and the last property is string is a body is equals to send mail dot body after that I'm adding the mail message class mail message mm is equals to new mail message now let's add the properties of the mail message mm dot to dot add method this add method takes a string address which is an email ID I want to send so I'm adding this variable to mm dot next one is a subject is equals to the subject I'm adding this string variable subject mm dot next one is a body is equals to body mm dot is body html is equals to false and the last property I'm adding mm dot from address is equals to new the from address is a mail address the mail address the mail address method takes a string parameter so here the mail address is from address I'm adding my rnb dot in gmail id and this is my from email id I want to send emails from this id to other email ids to this email ids after adding the mail message property next we require to configure the SMTP of Gmail SMTP client let's add that one SMTP is an object new SMTP client 
Now here the SMTP client takes a parameter of the Gmail SMTP, smtp.gmail.com. After adding the SMTP client of the Gmail, now let's add the SMTP port number also, smtp.port. The port number of Gmail is 587 semicolon the next parameter property is st smtp dot use default credentials is equals to true and the next one smtp dot uh, let's add the enable ssl is equals to true smtp dot credentials is equals to new system dot network net dot network credential and this network credentials I'm adding the string username and password both are strings the first one string username is my from address I'm adding this email ID comma and the password is also string type I'm adding password just for the security reasons I'm not adding my real password but at the time of sending emails I will change this into real password and here in the password parameter add your real gmail password let's send the email await smtp dot send mail async method the send mail async method takes a mail message object here the mail message object is mm so let's add that object name here semicolon then once the mail has been sent successfully i'm adding view data the string index between double quotes is a message is equals to the mail has been sent to plus uh, I'm adding here send mail my class name dot I'm adding two address that's it we have done the complete coding part now we require the designing part switch to the index.cshtml First let's change the heading, send email in ASP.NET Core with Razor Pages, then I'm adding H2, ASP.NET Core 3.0 tutorials. After adding the headers, I'm adding hot interline now here I am adding the table within this table I am adding the table rows inside this table rows I am adding TD table data first one is a 2 the 2 address TD here in the TD I am adding the input type is equals to text ASP for I am adding send email dot to let's add the placeholder also placeholder is equals to enter email id and the next tr td the second table data i want to add the subject td so instead of adding this again this input element I'm copying this here and pasting here and this one ASP file my class name dot subject and the last one is the body in the body instead of input text box I am adding the text area, text area, ASP file, send mail dot the body, and here I am adding the columns is equals to file, 
and rows so rows columns and rows for the text area uh, let's add the 25 the value then dr the first td i'm adding the button control to send an email input type is equals to i'm adding the submit let's add the color to this button control mm, class is equals to btn i'm adding the bootstrap color is a success and now the button control displays in a green color now i'm adding the value of the button send mail now after adding the button control the next 3d I want to display the message for that I have user the view data dot message view data message copy that one at make sure don't give any gaps here view data message that's it now the most important we need to add the form tag and this form tag close after the table and the form tag the method is post we are posting the data here we forgot to change the placeholder enter subject this one and this one also the text area let's add the placeholder is uh, enter text so this is the columns we have to change 24 and rows 5 that's it we have done the complete coding part now it's time to check the results on the browser browse with and selecting the browser google chrome default set as default click browse and here we got the final output of the project Notice the headed action email in ASP.NET Core with the razor pages. Below that we have the two email IDs, subject, body. After that we got the button control to send an email. Now here are the two address. I am adding the two address and from address both are same. And rupee at gmail.com is my email ID. I want to send emails to this email ID. Then here the subject. Hello. And the body ASP.NET Core 3.0 tutorials. How to send email with treasure pages. This is the message I want to send to this email ID. Now before send this mail to this address, let's open my gmail account, open new tab, open gmail, let's sign in. I'm adding my email id, which is my from and to address both are same, click next, and the password. And I just logged into my email id at nrupee.in at gmail.com. Let's send the mail. Send mail. See here we got a message. The mail has been sent to nrupee.in at gmail.com. Let's check here. Inbox. Notice here we got a mail here. The me it shown because the from and to both address are same. Let's open the mail. Hello is a subject. Is a hello. And this is the body. That's it.